be speaking to Isaac um, from MCC Aviation, who's one of the more senior pilots flying helicopters at MCC. And Isaac, won't you tell me, please, how did it all start? Uh, it all started uh, back in 2001 uh, when I enrolled uh, with the 43A school in Port Alfred, uh, where I enrolled for a private pilot license um, uh, on a fixed wing. And um, yeah, I did my PPL, completed it at uh, 43 High School in 2001, on the 16th of June, 2001, yes. And then Isaac, after you'd completed your PPL at 43 High School, you then, I believe, applied for the police? Yes, I did apply for police. Police were looking for a student pilot, at least that uh, had some few hours to show that uh, they, they really wanted to fly you know, what do they have in hand to confirm that they wanted to fly and I happened to have a PPL by them and uh, yeah, the rest was history, I joined the police and uh, we had an option to uh, continue the fixed wing because they do have fixed wings and uh, we, we, we also get the opportunity to, to do helicopters and I continue with helicopters I started actually my helicopters with them and uh, I've been flying for the police since uh, I joined them and. Uh, I left them in 2010 after the World Cup. Now, after the World Cup, you left the police, and then where did you go? I went to fly the MI-8 in Russia. I flew the MI-8 in Russia. I did my training in uh, Moscow and in Chumen in Russia. And then uh, from there, we came back to South Africa for a break. And then I was mostly deployed in Afghanistan. I flew a lot in Afghanistan. That's very, very interesting. And how many years were you deployed in Afghanistan? I stayed in, uh, actually I will say I worked for UTF for about two to three years, if I remember correctly, and most, most of the time we deployed there for two months in Afghanistan and then a month back in South Africa in that period of uh, two, three years. Then I left uh, UTF, I went to join ESCOM Aviation, and that's when I started doing a lot of uh, long line, uh, doing power line maintenance, um, live line maintenance, power line inspections. Uh, skid work as well and I did actually a lot of that's where my experience with long lines started uh, with ESCOM Aviation. And in ESCOM you flew the Bell 40, 407 didn't you? Yes at ESCOM I flew the Bell 407s uh, they later on introduced the uh, H125s formerly known as the um, uh, the squirrels and uh, we used the squirrels mostly for, for, for pole planting or for, 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 for constructions of power lines because they're a bit stronger than the 407 but for live line and skid work, we used only the 407s because it's easier with the 407s than with the H125s. And how long were you at ESCOM? I flew for ESCOM for about seven years and then I left them in uh, 2020. Then I went to join a private company based at uh, Whitbank. I was flying the 430, Bell 430. I flew the R66, I flew the uh, R44. It was mostly private uh, uh, flying. And then you eventually landed up at MCC. Yes, um, MCC, they were not strangers to me uh, during my career. Every now and then I would come and uh, fly for them, uh, charter flights mostly. And uh, I decided after doing my, um, after I left uh, where I was flying for a private owner, that's when I came to, to, to join MCC because the type of flying that MCC does is exactly, I'm a utility pilot, if I have to put it that way, and that's exactly what S, uh, MCC does. They do a lot of uh, firefighting, they do a lot of, uh, you know, power line maintenance, they do a lot of uh, lifting, you know, like what you did at Art Tambo when you're lifting the aircons, other buildings as well, Job CBD last year I did another aircon uh, lifting on top of the building, and that's exactly the type of job that uh, I, I, I like to do. That's amazing. Of course, I watched you the other day when you lifted. It was not an aircon, actually. It was a, an electrical power unit yes, yeah, that yeah. you lifted <laughs> to the roof there. That must have been quite challenging. I mean, I, I watched it. It seemed to be quick and seamless. It took 20 minutes, the whole job. Um, what did it feel like landing in amongst those very high light poles? Uh, yeah, no, um, I think the, the, the foundation uh, was done while I was doing a lot of ESCOM live line. Uh, because you have to be very, very precise with your flying. You know, you put a guy a meter away from where he's supposed to be, the line is, is live and you can kill him, you know, because the line is running live and uh, that's where it came from. So for me to lift 
uh, the aircon on top of the building. So the only thing that you have to watch out, of course, is your wind direction, your your, your poles in terms of your lights, and of course the jets are landing and are tumble. You know, you can have your downwash, you can have your vortices and etc. But it was a little bit far from the runway, which was a plus, and the wind was calm. It was early in the morning, and uh, it was it was it was easily done. Isaac, thank you so much for speaking to African Pilot. It's a real pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure also to talk to African Pilot. And as I always say to pilots, especially helicopter pilots, please keep the blue stuff on top. Exactly. And keep those blades turning. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much.